Hey there, so in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how you can create an Ethereum wallet in minutes. Now, the whole point of creating your own wallet is so that you have the private keys to, the, uh, to that wallet, and therefore, if you have the private keys, you have full control over that crypto. So there's a saying in crypto, not your keys, not your coins. And so that's very true of any crypto that's left on an exchange where you don't actually own the keys to those, uh, you don't actually own the keys to the wallet. And so because you don't have the keys, you technically don't own them. It's, uh, it's up to the exchange to uh, give those coins back to you, but it's, you know, it's up at their discretion. So it's, uh, let's just say if they exit scam, then you are, uh, then your coins are gone. So this is a great cheap way to uh, store your Ethereum or Ethereum tokens. Now I've made another video and it's uh, with MetaMask. So if you want to check that out, there's a link down below on how you can how you can create a wallet with MetaMask. But this is just another alternative. So what you want to do is you want to go to Mew uh, and just as it says here, create a new wallet, right? And I just I'm gonna close this. What? Uh, okay, yeah, sure. Anyways, I understand. Yes. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yes. There we go. So he'll go through some of this stuff, these pop-ups. And what you want to do is you'll want to do by key store file. It's kind of interesting because uh, for myself, when I first got into crypto, one of my friends who had uh, gave me some Ethereum, he created a key store file for me. And uh, he put the crypto on that key store file and then gave me the password and all so on and so forth. And uh, that was really interesting. So he uh, did this and then gave it to me. And uh, that's how I got started. But for yourself, if you're someone who is interested in gifting it, maybe you can do this as well. All right. So what you can do is you can put in a password here. I'm just going to write uh Okay, let, let, okay, because this is, yeah, I'm just going to do, because uh, I don't want to have to look it up. So let's just do testing. One, two, three, uh, one, two. Okay. Oh, oops. And four, five. Okay, so then here we go. So now it says it's good. I'm going to click next. Right, so it's testing one, two, three, four, five, exclamation mark, and the at symbol. And then next, and then basically it's going to generate a key store file. Then what I'm going to do is I am going to download it, okay? And I'm just going to call this, uh, I don't know, like a key, uh, this one right here, 2020. Okay, that's the one, okay? So I'm gonna now access my wallet, right? And so what I'm going to do, just to find out all the information for, uh, for that particular wallet is I'm going to go to software right here and then click on key store file and continue and then I'm going to select this one here uh, this is the one that I had just created uh, I was doing another one and it was just to test but same thing testing one two three four five All right yes I think that's the one and let it load there you go so now you have just kind of you you now have access to your crypto so you've just entered your password to i guess uh to the file that lets you unlock the keys to your crypto or to that wallet so basically what you can do is here is your uh, receiving address so that means this is the address that people would send crypto uh, to right so this one right here uh, and in order to find your private key I don't think you can actually do this here uh, before I was able to on the previous versions but more or less um, you, you don't really need the private key in it and in fact it's probably dangerous if you try to look for that private key in it and you by chance uh, if you uh, expose it so what I would suggest is if you decide to go with the key store file route you might want to make numerous copies of this file 
right? And then you might want to pick a password that's harder than testing one, two, three, four, five exclamation mark and the at sign. So yeah, that's uh, this is basically how you make a uh, an Ethereum wallet within minutes, all under with uh, my Ether wallet. So yeah, anyways, just uh, I would say if you're not sure, play around with it first before you create a quote unquote real one, and then uh, and then just kind of look around on the test wallets that you've made just to see what it's like see what the interface is like and then once you you're like okay i've got a pretty good hang of it then you made make a real one and that would be your uh ether wallet i guess for good so anyways yeah i hope you found this video informative or educational if you did please give it a thumbs up uh if you think anyone would benefit from watching this video then please share it if you um, are interested in receiving notifications of my future videos and hit that subscribe button. But yeah, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.